These problems have to do with the exponential key on your calculator and making sure you know how to use it. And if yours is like mine, it's this y to the x key. So you type in uh, a value and you raise it to a power. So let's give that a try. It says use a calculator to evaluate the expression to three decimal places. We have 2.718 to the one half power. So what I can do is type in 2.718 and then hit my y to the x and then 0.5 and equals and I get 1.649 they wanted three decimal places now we can test this to make sure it worked because when you raise something to the one-half power that's actually the same as taking its square root so I'm going to type in 2.718 again and then take the square root and lo and behold I get 1.649 again so that's how to use the exponent key. Type in the number, hit the y to the x key, then type in the power and hit equals. Let's look at one more problem where we can use this. This one says use the formula a equals a sub 0 times 1 plus r to the n to find the amount to the nearest dollar after $100 is invested for five years at an annual rate of 8% compounded annually. So this is actually a formula for calculating interest, which is pretty cool. The A sub zero is the amount of money you start with. The R is your interest rate, but make sure you convert it to a decimal first. And the N is the number of years that go by. So let me rewrite this formula. A equals, our A sub zero is $100. And then we have one plus R. R is 8%, but we've got to convert that 8% to a decimal, so we take and move the decimal point two places to the left. So 1 plus 0 0.08 would be 1.08, and to the n power would be to the fifth power. So I'm gonna use my calculator. I'm gonna do this chunk first, 1.08 y to the x, five equals. That's what I'm gonna multiply by the 100. So at 8% interest, after five years, compounded annually, I get $146 and, well, 93 cents. And let's see, they said they wanted the amount to the nearest dollar, so that would be 147. So that's how to use the exponent key.